Good day, everybody. This is a Florida Golden Girl. Today's travel adventure takes us to the town of Astatula, Florida. Bet you, can you say that three times? So we're gonna look at another local cemetery. The name of today's cemetery is the town of Astatula Cemetery. So the sign reads that the cemetery was a gift to the town from Mary Hux. Mary Hux was a pioneer settler um, and she deeded it to the town in 1895. So the deed stipulates that the property will only be exactly that, a, prop, a cemetery. And it's 10 acres and that will always be used to for the residents of the town. So the town are the trustees of this area. So there are restrictions to being buried here. First off, you have to be a resident of Astatula in long standing. Descendants can be buried here, but yeah. Um, this is one of those cemeteries where they're very strict. So here is a memorial marker um, that pretty much reads the same thing that's on the sign. You can hardly read that. But it just says Astatula Cemetery, um, October 11th, 1895. So this is a historic cemetery. Now, will we find any historic markers? That remains to be seen. Because if you look, it's fenced in. Uh, the town did such a lovely job uh, in providing um, such security. You've got, it's just farmland folks. Um, that's a historic Volvo right there. And then over there, I guess you've got a little small office, um, a flag, but that's it. You've got one road, you've got two roads, you've got this road, and then you have that road there. So it's, there's nothing really remarkable about that. Again, if we find any historic markers, we're going to check it out and see what's going on. This is, um, so our first one is a World War II veteran, um, Air Force. So I've kind of made a circle. I've been to Yahala. I've been to, um, I've been to, um, other cemeteries. So this is one that I, um, uh, do in my, uh, my vlogging trips today. Um, this was one I've been wanting to come to and uh, naturally I'm sidekick free today. And this is one where um, I've been wanting to attend. Um, for those that are local to the area, a great famous uh, German bakery is called Yahala Bakery. Um, I vlogged the cemetery there and that's a historic cemetery. Um, lots of veterans of the war. So Merrick, um, that's a whole bunch of family there and you can see that they died in 28 and 29. So Yahala was an earlier cemetery vlog, but I, that was a silent vlog. So I didn't really was, I wasn't speaking. You got another historic one here. So the earliest one I can see so far is 1902. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it's Estelle um, Lux. Born 1876 and died in 1902. So it looks like there's another one over here. Um, infant of Hux, 1905. So uh, the grave that we just seen, we couldn't read. That was um, a Hux. And then there's another Hux here. So, like I said, the only people that can be interred in um, Astatula is residents of the town. And so, um, let's talk a little bit about Astatula. Um, Astatula is once is one of those um, farming uh, towns. Nothing remarkable about it, but that that was Florida. Um, You know, not, not a lot of people wanted to come to a place where it had um, uh, uh, Native American, Seminole um, tribe, um, other tribes. Um, Oka, Okahumka, uh, it was another um, uh, Native American tribe that was in the area. The weather uh, was bad. 
hot, muggy, still that way. But um, trying to get people to come out here was um, very difficult. So they had, I've talked before about land grants and how people coming from uh, Civil War uh, states de devastated. Um, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, you know, they came here, you know, immigrant settlers, German, lots of German, um, English, et cetera, et cetera. And so um, this is where they came. Um, they came here um, for a better life. And I've talked about that. If you go back to my Kissimmee vlogs, where we did uh, St. Cloud, Kissimmee area, lots of small um, pioneer settler um, uh, areas. And so uh, that's that was life. Um, it was hard, but the rewards were a well uh, deserved job for a day's work, you know. People worked hard. There wasn't nothing. All you had was each other. Now this is an old one here. I can't tell you, even begin to see who that was. Here is, um, we have some, right before the pandemic, the first one, 1916. Oh, that's a baby grave. And then you have another baby grave here, another baby Reeves, a year later. And then a child here, 1909 to 1920. These are the parents, um, 1973, and this lady's name was America. That's cool. And then, uh, you have several above ground graves here. But yeah, I've got the whole place to myself, folks. So, so far, you know, we found some, a few interesting graves. I mean, nothing really remarkable. Um, it's cool outside. Yeah, but yeah, I've been wanting to come out here for a while. Oh, so going back to <laughs> Yohalla Bakery. Um, yeah, if you are local to the area and if you uh, put in Yohalla Bakery, um, oh my gosh, you know, my, uh, I had been going there for years and their pastries, the bread is fresh. Um, is it just like the Germans? The people that work there are German. Now the owners, that used to own it were German. Um, they sold it to um, a young um, Spanish um, couple. Um, and um, it, it's not the same. I mean, nothing wrong with somebody Spanish because I am Hispanic. Um, no in nature, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but, um, those that, um, you know, a German bakery owned by Spanish people or a German bakery owned by English people. Do you see where I'm getting? It's just not the same. It's like um, uh, somebody um, making a knish that's uh, from uh, Hungary. It's, you know, it, it's, just, it's just a different vibe. I mean, nothing's changed. They're, they're packed, but... Uh, people don't realize that it had been sold. And so how we found out was, well, my husband, him and his brother um, went there. Um, these are um, much newer graves. So, um, and then this is, this is uh, it's all a farm, you know, trailers and, you know, there's the fire state, a school over there in the distance and then there's your flag so um they were waiting in line and then there was this guy he just you know you get those people he's from new york okay i don't want to hear about okay the, i just said the guy is from new york okay so let me say my story so this dude's from new york and he's just complaining about everything he's like i guess they were taking too long and they do take they do take a while. You have to be patient. Wait, and this guy, uh, for whatever was reason, wasn't um, uh, 
was impatient. He's like, well, you know, I just want my money back. Okay, cool. You know, you want your money. Um, that's fine. And then this is the Alberting. So he's like, so he went back up. And so he didn't know that the person that um, was the cashier was the owner. So this is what happened. So he started complaining. He goes, well, I want to speak to supervisor. And so he's waiting in the, in the guy, he goes out, he goes in the back and then he comes back and he goes, can I help you? It's the same guy that served him. It's funny. So he's, he just kind of gives him this dirty look and he's like, oh, you're taking too long. I want a refund. Okay. No problem. And so, um, he goes, well, I want cash. And the guy goes, no, he goes, you paid with card. We'll credit you that. So he took the guy's thing and he, sometimes they do have issues with the um, receipts, getting the receipts out. Because where they're located at is really, really, really crappy um, internet reception. So the guy goes, hey, it'll be credited in such and such a time. So the guy goes, well, how do I know that uh, you're not stealing the money? How do I know that you're really credited back to me? He goes, well, I want to see a manager. So, so this is um, Reeves, another Reeves. So it's 1898 to 1907. So they've got Reeves, Kendrick. So the guy goes, I am. So he went for normal cashier, to supervisor, to manager. He goes, I am the manager. So the guy goes, he goes, I want to speak to you. I want to speak to the owner. The guy looks at him. He goes, I am the owner. And he goes, he goes, he gave him a business card that showed who he was. And then the guy just started cussing him out. He goes, well, how do I know? Blah, blah, blah. He goes, look, he goes, I don't want your freaking money. He goes, I'm not here to rip you off. If I say it's here, here's my business card. If it doesn't appear in your bank within a specific amount of time, call me and I'll call, I'll check on it. I'll make sure you get your money. And then the guy just started, you know, so this guy was a captain in the Air Force, and he was um, a veterinarian. DVM means Doctorate of Veterinary Medicine. So the guy just starts screaming and cussing at him, you know, just anger. And the guy, the young kid, you know, bless his heart, was very calm, and he just told him, he goes... He goes, if you don't be quiet and leave, he goes, I am going to call the cops. And uh, he told him the GTF, you know, uh, out. Um, and the guy just started cussing and he left and then he locked the door. And he, uh, he didn't call the cops or anything, but uh, yeah. So that's how we found out that um, it was bought um, by some Spanish people. And so, um, yeah, so my husband asked him, he goes, yeah, he goes, me and my, you know, he, uh, my family have been coming here for years. And he goes, did, did you buy it? He goes, yeah, you know, and like I said, he, nice, nice, nice kid, young kid. And his mother was in the back. I guess she was doing some of the cooking. But, you know, when you find out that the, your favorite German restaurant, which had been owned and operated and managed, by one German family for years and years and then they sold, it's, it isn't the same. It's just, it's the feeling, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like knowing that there's no tooth fairy. You feel such a big letdown. So we still patronize because we support local uh, businesses uh, versus the major ones. But all in all, um, Saturdays, they've got, um, Saturdays, they have, um, a band, um, Saturdays and Sundays from, I guess, from 12 to 3, and the local bands are really cool. Okay, what do we have here? Well, you've got a cat, you've got lots of crosses, you've got dead flowers, You've got plastic flowers. You've got a flag. Yeah. Mm hmm You got, um, 
it is over the freaking top. You have windmills, you've got lights. Now, I'm sorry. This is a little bit more um, naturally. Um, you've got rocks and everything, but, and I, I dig it. I dig where some people are thinking, but it doesn't matter. You look at everybody else and then you got this nonsense. Ugh. You know my thoughts, folks. You know my thoughts. So anyway, let's see if we can uh, find some more interesting graves. So we have, now we haven't seen any Marine Corps since Merritt Island. Um, so he was a captain and uh, an officer and a gentleman. That's very cool. And it looks like um, he was, um, he may have been a um, career, but then if you look to the right, his father was a World War II veteran. And then here's some more Harrisons here. There's another Harrison. And then you have another William Harrison, but it's a junior. And he, oh, just maybe a couple months old. Maybe. And then you got um, the Johnsons. And so she was She was 15. Pretty girl. I wonder what happened. Uh, it's always sad, you know, when young, when young people um, uh, leave too soon. But um, yeah, what are your thoughts about uh, Astatula Cemetery? Um, it's interesting. Like I said, every local cemetery has its own unique charm. So this is Korea. You hardly see any Korean vets. And then you've got um, the Shafar family. I know I'm butchering that name. Let's see him. Taddy and Loper, who's still alive. And then you have another one. They're all somehow related there. But yeah, like I said, each... Each local cemetery has its own unique charm, and um, uh, yeah, we've got this. Okay, crossing the Rainbow Bridge. So, let's think about this for a moment. Okay, so there must have been a dog somehow. Um, Okay, so 1926 to 2005, 1923 to 2004, so there must have been, they must have owned a dog, and that's okay. Interesting. So, I thought that was a dog, or they must have been dog lovers. And then you've got somebody that liked Scotty's. old ones uh, mixed in with a lot of new ones but yeah we found we found some old grace it's cool uh, you got one here that's 1922 right there you can hardly see that but yeah um, So this looks like it's Civil War. So they're from Private 121 Infantry, Florida, November 1919. So we did find one Civil War veteran. Cool, huh? So yeah, so that's a that's our little historic cemetery. Enjoyed our tour today. 
like, subscribe, click that notification bell to let you know when a new video will be uploaded. Tell a neighbor, tell a friend, tell the cat, the dog, a stranger, a co-worker. Word of mouth is how my channel grows. I appreciate y'all folks for coming and stopping by. This is Florida Golden Girl from Estatula, Florida, saying thank you for watching and so long for now.